Hi Capsians, how are you? My name is Asad Mahmood. I am your Caps trainer. Hope you are doing great. Okay guys, um, this video, um, uh, in this video, I'm gonna tell you the great news. But before getting into that, I want to thank you all uh, to support me. Uh, and uh, because of you guys, uh, we are a family of 12,000 members on our official Facebook page. This is huge actually, it's a huge success. And uh, thank you very much for your support and for your trust on me. Thanks a lot. And because of you guys, we are being noticed at higher ups. Uh, and what is mean by that, I will uh, share details in a bit. But before getting into that, I just want to share the big news. The big news is, um, I have been informed that um, the retail pharmacy profession uh, is will be back on the immigration list very soon. And uh, that means like, which means uh, in the middle of this year or by the end of this year, the retail pharmacy profession will be uh, on the immigration list. That could be on the state list, that could be on the 189 list. Uh, there are chances that this will be on the 189 list, but uh, as far as the state list are concerned, uh, I'm 100% sure this will be on the that list. So the people who stuck, are stuck overseas and can't secure the job over there, who can't, who can't, like who are not able to secure any visa yet, uh, the good news is like by the middle of this year or by the end of this year, they will be able to apply for a visa and they can come to Australia and start their pharmacy career here. So this is big. Uh, I don't want to discuss. I don't want, don't want to uh, discuss more information in that. Uh, just I think this is this is uh, this is enough for now. Um, now the second important thing which I want to discuss with you, uh, which is linked to our platform, which is uh, Caps Australian Pharmacy Exam official Facebook page. Now this this platform, like we have started this platform around like uh, four four years ago, and now we are a family of twelve thousand uh pharmacists over there um and uh, lots and lots of pharmacists they have passed the caps exam uh, by following our page and uh, you know they have passed the total exam they passed the already written exam and now they are the full registered pharmacist in australia because of you guys because of your support and because of your love i would i would say that um our platform is getting noticed at higher ups and uh, uh, one of the top uh, pharmacy bodies in australia they have contacted me and um they need my suggestions on a huge problem and what's the problem the problem for the overseas pharmacists like you know after they pass in the caps exam after they pass the exam uh most of the pharmacies they stuck overseas they can't they are not able to uh any able to find any way to land into australia they are not able to secure the job getting a job is, is very hard by sitting overseas uh securing a visa is very hard because there, there are very very you know technicalities in that so they want my suggestion they want my feedback on like you know how can we overcome this problem how can we convince the owners, uh, you know, uh, that you know should, you should hire the overseas pharmacist, and uh, if they hire the overseas pharmacist, we can compete uh, with the you know uh, vacancies in Australia uh, for the pharmacist. So uh, I'm giving my suggestions over there. But before that, because I'm going to meet them in 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 a few weeks' time. So just before that, I want you guys to give me your suggestions, your feedback, and your questions and your concerns and any information which you, which you might think which helpful um, for the coming uh, capsian for the coming overseas pharmacists so that we can share that those problems with them like i would say i give you an example like the problems are why owners in australia are not hiring the overseas pharmacies what however this pharmacies is one of the biggest problem is the communication second biggest problem is the you know the cultural uh, cultural thing Third biggest problem is the basics of the pharmacy practice in Australia. Majority of the pharmacy, over 100% of the overseas pharmacists are, you know, um, they are not aware of the basic pharmacy practice, bigger legal, basic legal things and basic over the counter uh, uh, medications here, basics of everything. If the overseas pharmacists get to know all of these basic information, then, over, or then the owners uh, would be in a comfortable position to hire them so that they can come they can land in Australia and they can start their work straight away. Instead of um, hiring the overseas pharmacist and taking a huge risk, once the pharmacists arrive here, you have to train them from zero. It will take around six, seven months to train them fully so that they can uh, work in a in a smoother or in a, in a good, efficient way. So that's why they prefer to hire someone uh, onshore. So they don't prefer. So that's these are the basic problems uh, which uh, I'm going to address, which I'm going to discuss. 
um, uh, and uh, with, with that body. Um, that's why I want you guys to share your thoughts, share your comments, share your questions, and any piece of information which you might think which will be helpful. Um, uh, you know, which will be helpful for the upcoming overseas pharmacy and for you guys, even like if, if, if you are stuck overseas before because of that. So two things. Number one, um, immigration policies are going to be changed uh, uh, within this year uh, and the uh, huge uh, number of uh, pharmacists can come to Australia because of the immigration policies. Uh, that's a good news. Second big news is, which is uh, as I told you that our this platform have been contacted uh, by the official bodies and they want our suggestions and they want our feedbacks on how can we make this whole process steady because um, uh, now um, different pharmacy bodies here, they want this whole process to be very, very easy and smooth so that they can fill the vacancies in Australia. At the moment, there's a huge, huge, uh, you know, uh, shortage of pharmacists uh, in the regional areas of Australia. So they want to, you know, uh, fulfill those, uh, those requirements and uh, fill those positions here. So they want uh, someone to help them so that we can make this whole process smooth and steady. All right. And uh, please share your comments, uh, inbox me. In the, and write your thoughts in your comment section and please follow uh, my page regularly give your feedback and good luck with that thank you